course in business ethics was so valuable to me because um, it forced me to think through the implications of the gospel and of a broader gospel in terms of creation, fall, redemption, and consummation uh, for my work. I had recently decided that this was going to be my career and, and I was gonna, going to stick with it. Uh, one of the things that happened in that class that I so valued is Dr. Jones had several uh, guest speakers come in and one of them was Ben Edwards III. Uh, uh, providentially, uh, I believe that is the family that this building is named after, and the class was here at Edwards Hall. I put that together after, after uh, Ben was there. Ben just, I remember he sat on the desk and just sort of shot the breeze with us and talked about the development of uh, A.G. Edwards, uh, the investment firm how uh, they thought through their business philosophy, thought through uh, their mission statement, of what were they were going to be about. And those were things that I had been thinking through about my own company, even though I was not in a senior leadership position at the time. In that class, I wrote a paper uh, called uh, the, uh, uh, A Christian Philosophy of Business Leadership for Dr. Jones. Uh, got an A, I remember that. Uh, that was, that was uh, one of the high points. Um, but it forced me to think through the theology of leading in a business, also the very practical human side of, of the business. And a couple of things that I came up with, um, I now see in, in, like in uh, Dr. Sherman's writings and others, was the whole creation, fall, redemption, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I want to say program, but a, a framework, that's the word I was looking for. Creation, fall, redemption, framework, and now of course people are talking about consummation, and, and how that applied to running a business. For example, in the area of, of, of creation and God's sovereignty, he's in charge of the whole thing. I don't run the company, he runs the company. Uh, I work for him, I don't work for the, in a very real sense, I don't work for the stockholders. Um, so, so that was part of it, but a lot of it had with a very practical implication of working with people. I, I wrote that I considered a business an organism rather than an organization because it was made up of people. Uh, that's, what, that's what a company is. It's a group of people accomplishing a, a service goal. Uh, so that was part of it. Another part was realizing that people were created in the image of God. And what that meant was they all have inherent dignity and that it didn't, it, I, I use 1 Corinthians 12 to talk about how um, while the context that the Apostle Paul was, was writing about there was the church, it applies to any organization, any organism, including a business, that the guy in the mailroom, I don't get to ignore him because if he doesn't do his job, the organism, the business, the company does not do well. Now, so that perhaps I was running the company but, and I had more responsibility, but there was absolutely nobody in that company that was not critical to the success of that company. Um, that was the one side, was the, the created in the image of God. The other side, of course, was the fall. Uh, so the practical implication of that for my management style was that I tried to create an environment in my company where people could thrive and use their God-given gifts to be able to, uh, to be able to um, develop their own gifts that God has given them for the good of the company and for the good of the customer. But the other side of that is I also had to understand that there were going to be selfish motives, fallen sinful motives, including my own, of course. Um, so what that created was I gave a great deal of freedom to my employees to be able to make their own decisions. But then I built a little, tried to build a box around them so they wouldn't do damage to the company while still being allowed to thrive. Uh, it was very practical when I, when I ended up going out to, to Frederick and uh, we literally had to rebuild the company. Uh, I kept that framework in mind the whole time.